Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Lima, Peru. And today for lunch we are going to, she's a lady, she's a legend. She is known for being one of the best home cooks for preserving traditional Peruvian food. So today for lunch we are going to her house. She's prepared an extravagant Peruvian meal for us. We're gonna go meet her, we're gonna go see the cooking, we're gonna have lunch. It's gonna be a spectacular meal. Kimar, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good, and you? Good, good. good. <laughs> Happy to be here. Oh man, can't wait. Lomo saltado, awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, lomo saltado. Eh? <laughs> you are the chef. Hola, buenos días, gracias, Buenas muchas gracias. Tardes. Bienvenido a casa suya. Gracias, muchas gracias. She reworks on the traditions and the uh, flavors from the past to keep all the traditions. And since because also Barranco is Barranco. It's a district like, of Lima that's very like artistic, uh, artistic, poetic, poetic <laughs> exactly. In okay. old. And she, and so, she's so that's why she chose this area. This is a tradition that comes from the ancestors, no? Claro. A veces hay platos, mi niño, que demoran aproximadamente ocho horas, como les voy a explicar ahora, no? Y este y tiene que ser por qué? Porque las cocciones largas tienden a, a tener como consecuencia carnes suaves que no necesitas cuchillo y la intensidad de pronto como que despiertan todos tus sentidos, ¿no? All the hours, all the traditions, then I mean I, 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 I forgot a little bit, but yeah, you just have to really respect all these uh, techniques and to follow the, to get the real flavors of a uh, comida peruana. Pasen por favor. She's a treasure trove of knowledge on Peruvian food and she's just especially explaining to us about the regional variations of Peruvian food. The food that makes up Peru from the coast to the mountains to the central to Lima to the central to the uh, Andes to the deserts and jungles. Hola. Hola. And you know Maria is just loving and caring because she started calling me Marquito. <laughs> and then, <laughs> okay. Maria Peña. Explícale en inglés qué es el atuendo que está llevando. The dress that I have now is typical of Trujillo, ah, okay. at the north of Peru. And this is the, the dress that we usually use to dance the national dance of Peru. It's called Marinera Norteña. Hay una marinera de Cantú Ferdesí, ¿verdad? Oh, that one is like, that tastes like apple cider with like a rich floral tone and like you can taste the spice. Muy rica. Muy rica. Diferente, sí, sí, sí. It's more, it's more spicy. And what's really special about this is that Maria, her family, has been making tamales since over 50 years, over 50 years. Um, and so she's been in a, a family of tamales and she says there's over 50 different types of tamales. Some of them are from the Lima region, others, the, especially the purple corn are from Cusco, uh, but all of them are different, different types of corn. The one she chopped up first is from the choclo, which is the, it's the big giant kernels of corn special to Peru. El tamal, como la humita, el papá la molienda, La abuelita, otra cosa. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Fiat, unlike any other corn tamale ever. Totally different. I mean, the choclo has a very special flavor that it's you... It's like milky. Very milky. Mm -hmm. Soft, mild, and a little bit it's sweet. It's like powdered milk. Muy rico. This one is with the garbanzo. It's, there's not even corn included. Yeah, I can't wait to try this one and also include some of those onions on top of it. Floored by the delicious simplicity. Every flavor is mm. so clean and pure. And the greenness is coming from cilantro. Oh. <laughs> the onions. That's the one they usually put in ceviches. That one is beautiful. The purple corn, best purple corn in the world from the mountains. So just perfectly refreshing. 
Every time I, I eat those, I think of hard candy. It just melts in your mouth like hard candy. It just disappears. Cool. It's so good. You could mistake it for chocolate cake. Mm. Oh wow. It's not overpowering the, the flavor of the maize morada. No, not at all. But you, you get a hint of it. And it's just... Almost like a, a floral, a hint of a exactly. floral taste. Something completely but new. Even that, it's not overpowering, yeah. I want to try a little bite of this chili that she just yeah. brought out. Oh. That's the ají ají limo. Ají limo. That's the one you usually put uh, on ceviches. Okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna eat the whole thing, but just take a, a nibble of it. Wow! <laughs> oh wow, the flavor. Mm. But like, it's sweet. It's sweet and a little bit spicy. Actually, the tip is not that spicy yeah. for me yet. Uh, so I think when you get to the seeds, it's gonna yeah, get okay, spicier. I didn't get the seeds yet. <laughs> Finish that. And then Chase, this should be the spiciest part of the chili. That should be spicy. Chase is for reaction. He looked at you like this meal. That is a good chili. I love the flavor. Rice, uh, cooked in beer and uh, cilantro. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Hola. Hola, Hola. 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 Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> we are just gonna see her dish out the next dish. Serve out the next dish, which is gonna be arroz con pollo, which is another very, very common family dish of Peru. Es el favorito de ti. De muchos peruanos también. Tu favorito. Sí, plato emblemático. Que está preparado con culantro. Con ají, mirasol. We just asked her and she said she did add some of the cerveza negra black beer. Su alberjita, ve? No se la ponemos allá porque pierde el color y se negrea. Acaba con su. Sí. Esto para el bebé. Esto para los tres jóvenes. Gracias. Para Joelito. Y para Timo. Dale, dale. Para oh, acá, gracias. Para Ahí está. Salud. <risa> salud. 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 Bienvenido, bienvenido, Marquito, Timo. Gracias. ¿Qué tal? Riquita. Mm, bueno. Buena, buena, buena. It's like coffee, yes. chocolate, dark, stout, but smooth. Smooth, very smooth. Yeah. And that's with the, the, the one you cook the, the rice with. So there's, so there's some of this beer mm -hmm. in the rice and then also culantro, culantro, or cilantro. Cilantro, culantro, 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 culantro. Culantro. Ah, okay, okay. So culantro is the cilantro. Quiero que huelas el aroma. Ese aroma que está al fondo de nariz es la cerveza. It smells like home and beer and cilantro and herbs and chicken. <laughs> I, I eat this every time I go to a mercado. Usually I, I, I take this. Because it comes with a little thing, a little secret that you're gonna see. Just so you know, this is the best thing in the world. It's called one caina. It's the sauce that um, goes with the, the dish. Ah, okay. Gracias. Oh, that's so creamy. <laughs> it tastes like liquid cheesy chicken. It's so cool. And she just brought out the arroz con pollo. And feel free to put more sauce, huh? Okay. Feel free. Gracias, man. <laughs> it's shining from the chicken juices and fat and oil, and then served with that sauce, the cheese, the chili, and the one gallina sauce. Always arroz con pollo, you have to have the one gallina sauce on the side. Always. Do not try to eat it without the sauce. So first try it on its own, and then with the, the sauce. Mm -hmm. The rice, the rice is outstanding. Like. It's like both herbaceous and chickeny and the beer. What is the herb in the in there? Oh, the cilantro. cilantro. The cilantro. Okay. Cilantro beer. No, it is the cilantro. Yeah. But then it's not like strong cilantro. It's just like no. mellowed in there. Mm. All that creamy factor. Okay, I'm gonna. I will try it on my next bite <laughs> with some of the rice, some of those onions on top. 
Yes, that's a bite. So t-shirt, they say, si no es picante, no. <laughs> if it's not spicy, mm -hmm. you don't como. Ah, ah, le pico. Pico, pica. Si no es picante, mm -hmm. no como. No como. <laughs> es, 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 es su poros. Si que picante, no como. Si, si, si. Like picante. Oh, oh that's... She just brought out the next dish, which is called ají de gallina, which is, it's kind of like a cheese chicken stew. Mm -hmm. And then what else is in it? Um, the, ají amarillo, always. The Some, ají, which is the, the yellow chilies, which are common in, in all Peruvian, dishes. All of Practically Peruvian all food. dishes. Uh, you have some Parmesan cheese. You have some bread that makes it uh, that makes the sauce more dense. Uh, you have caldo de gallina, so to also for the stew. The chicken soup. There is like a foundation of potato on the bottom here too. Papa Maria. Papa Maria. Yellow potato. Yellow. Oh, it is yellow. It's very yellow. Wow. That's. It's like vibrantly special yellow. I'll just try this first before adding anything else. You can taste the cheese, but not not overly strong. Then just like mellowed out with the chicken broth, the yellow potato. It's almost like a creamy. Like a creamy stew, yeah. It's one of the <laughs> creamiest bites of food I've ever had. I discovered Peruvian cuisine with that dish. That was the first dish I, I had, and I fell in love right away. The creaminess. You immediately notice the vibrancy of the garlic and rice. Oh yeah. And the chicken maybe too? Is there, there chicken there, stock there, there, in rice? There's always garlic and um, I think, yeah. But like every rice, usually rice in Peru when it's cooked, the white rice, always with the garlic. Of garlic. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's gonna make a dish, it's called lomo saltado, which is a stir-fried beef dish. Very common, very popular in Peru. Uno, dos, tres puntos, salió. No demora tanto. Rapidito. Okay. Listo. <laughs> Cebolla, cebolla, chillado claro, pimienta, pimienta, chico, ¿ah? Vinagre, vinagre. Volvemos. Listo, ya está, ya está. Así tal cual. Wow. Prueba. Esto va siempre con papas fritas. Wow. Y listo. Un perquito. Wow, yeah. You still have to go for that beef. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Even the oh, fork can feel how soft that is. Oh yeah, my God. It's just juicing yeah, in itself. We're dripping. Muy bien, a ver. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. La carne es super suave. Claro, es que oh. es fino. Oh, it's so tender. <laughs> it's oh, so God. unbelievably flavorful. Like the, <laughs> the hint of sourness from the, the vinegar. The perfect, perfect saltiness from the soy sauce that we almost have that of Peru. Por eso es increíble. Unbelievably juicy and tender, just like beyond belief. The fried juice. Gotta rejuice it. <laughs> that juice. Juices are just coming from places I didn't know existed. <laughs> this beef is just unbelievable. I'm just gonna let it stop. You want, like, the beef actually works like a sponge in that juice. It's like unbelievable. It's like a special beef that's like the juiciest type you could ever have. Oh, that juice is... Oh, oh gracias. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, mi bebé. Mira, y todavía con... Mothering us, she said the beef, with the juice. Oh, with those onions. <laughs> Mm. 
can get a meat. I cannot believe how tender and juicy that beef is. Commentaries on your Thailand. Really? It's a little bit of a dangerous move, but I'm willing to, to attempt it. One final spoon of the precious, precious, the precious, precious juice. Company. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh Wow. And that's all full of flavor because you're going to recognize like cilantro. Peta. Cuando se respeta, digas que se aplica acá en Perú, ¿no? Ancestral. Dish one of these guys onto the plate. Oh, wow. There's onions in here, there's cilantro, there's spices. Ají amarillo. Ají amarillo with a yellow pepper. An ancient traditional dish of Peru. From which region? El, uh, Ah, oh, okay. From, from Lima. It's a just a, it's a it's a local dish from Lima, uh, like family traditional dish, and then also serve some of the, the oh, look at that wiggle, some of the beans on the side. Oh. Again, like. The juices just came out of it too on my plate. Like I don't even know where the juice came from. Now it's in a pool of meat juice. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna rejuice, resauce. Oh, guys. Okay, okay, cheers. The beef. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Qué rico. Muy rico. Like the strings of it. The, it's so tender and... But like that beef wasn't even fatty, it was like... Lean, pure meat encased in sauce. She cooks at very low temperature for like, yeah, five hours. So that's why it's like... Very dense in flavors. And that sauce. De este plato, se hace el tatu tatu. Es un revuelto de arroz. Look at the flakiness and the stringiness of that meat. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, the, the acidity of the onions. You gotta see, I'm getting down to the, the bone sections of this. And literally, like, the, the, I'm just using the knife to hold the bone in place, but the fork is just, you just run your fork through this, and it just strips the meat off. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm this is for the alcohol. Okay, Uh, C R E. I'll cut like this. Ricotta relleno. Uh, so ricotta is the chili, uh, which it is actually a spicy chili if there's seeds in it. Um, but it kind of looks like a bell pepper, but totally different. Then the relleno is like the stuffed. So the the chili is stuffed with cheese with a variety of different meats. There's both beef and pork. There's raisins, there's some spices, onions, olives. Oh, there are olives in it. And also um, peanuts. Oh, that's very interesting. And cheese, and then also served with a, with a potato, kind of layered potato cake. And this dish is traditionally from Arequipa. Oh, oh wow. The rocoto just like, melts in your mouth and like like you think a spiciness is coming on mm -hmm. but then it ends there very true because the seeds are removed mm -hmm. kind of cinnamony the olives the ra the sweetness from the raisin the like kind of nuttiness from the peanuts and the queso the cheese makes it very mild and that's why it also cuts the the spiciness too yeah and the raisins they're sweet it's so complex you don't even know what you're I don't even know what I'm talking about, actually. <laughs> that chili pepper is really, really spicy if it's fresh. But they have, she does this entire huge process of boiling it in sugar water, removing the seeds, boiling it in sugar water to, to remove that spice. And it still has a little bit of spiciness to it. Yeah, we are 
Starting to struggle, still feeling good. One more final dish. Ese tipo de salsa se utiliza mucho en la zona de selva. The final dish is called guane, and it's uh, it's a dish prepared. I'm not even totally sure what's inside, but it's prepared. Uh, rice. Okay, it's prepared rice inside of a banana leaf, steamed. But like, the sauce is also very key, which is a uh, it's a mixture of onions and a fruit, which is called kokomo, coconut, coconut, coconut which we tried in the market from the Amazon. It has, it's almost like, to me, it almost tastes tomato-y, like a very like sour green tomato. And that's in part of the sauce. Gracias. Gracias. Miren, chicos. And inside is a combination of rice, there's garlic, there's egg, there's olive, there's chicken, there's... This uh, ginger is ginger. called... Ginger. Type of ginger is called mishkin. 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 Look at the chunkiness of that. This looks like something I want a high ratio of. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh wow. wow. Okay, too much flavor. Too many, wow, there's too many things. That one's awesome. Like the glutinous factor of the rice. And then with that sauce, that refreshing sauce, the, the okay. fruit, the coconut. Finally came through the coconut, huh? It, is, it tastes like green. To me, it tastes like a very tart green tomato. Yes, but I Solo para él porque yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Toko, tokos, tokos. <laughs> yeah. First time you see people happy to eat tokos. Yes. <laughs> happy people. <laughs> the biggest yes. in your face. La, la persona más muchas feliz. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Yes. <laughs> oh. This is a precious, precious moment. I think it was like two hours ago, beginning of the meal or towards the, the beginning of the meal, we mentioned to her that... <laughs> what is that? Dude. <laughs> About two hours ago, at the beginning of this meal, we mentioned to Maria that yesterday, yesterday we went on an ultimate Peruvian street food tour and we found something called tokosh, which we had for the first time, which is fermented potato. Um, which was invented by the Incas many, many years ago. And then I just went home last night and I read about it, how they made it. I tried it for the first time. Anyways, yeah, we were mentioning to Maria that we tried it and we loved it. She just kind of smiled and laughed and enjoyed it, but then like didn't do anything. Now, like they brought out a bowl of tokosh. She brought out a bowl of tokosh and I could not be happier. Oh, it's so beautifully thick and gelatinous. Oh yes, it's like the texture of Vaseline, Can potato be... Vaseline. Oh, I have two a... days in a row I'm eating this. That's and a whole... <laughs> two days in a row I kept <laughs> two days. <laughs> okay guys, oh Tokosh, one of the greatest. And by the way, just before we take this bite, I, I just read about how it's made. They put potatoes and corn into a, a leaf basket and leave it under the river in flowing water for six months to a year. Wow. That's how long That's... it ferments. Oh yes. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> it's bueno, it's good. It's just this it's one strong. is amazing. No, this is this better. one's better yeah, than yesterday. Sweet. This one is like definitely it's, it's really good. It's like applesauce, but and it's also like a, a heal all. It gets like very extraordinarily healthy. <laughs> yeah, awesome. very cool. That texture. Mmm. <laughs> And there's chunks in it too. Tokosh. Don't miss it when you're in Peru. <laughs> she just brought us out the real fermented potatoes. Those are like straight up like penicillin vitamins. Would you eat this? Might be coming back. Yeah. No, no, come. Oh, can we try a little bit? No. Wow, that is a that's a texture. That's one to remember. <laughs> wow, that is that's unique. Wow, like the weird thing is the texture actually. Like it's just like a 
sour withered mashed potatoes. Like it's like mashed potatoes on the inside. It's like soggy mashed potatoes that it just really quickly dissolved actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. At first I thought the skin was like really tough. I never thought, uh, I never thought somebody would be able that to is it. You guys are so happy eating this, I cannot believe it. <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. Imagine oh. one-year-old mashed potatoes. You have arroz con leche y masa morada, morada before you go back. And this is the best I've ever had. So the arroz con arroz leche, con leche. This is the rice pudding. Rice pudding with cinnamon. Then to eat with. It comes, it's like a jelly of the chicha, it's like a chicha morada. Chicha morada, but, uh, in jelly. A ma marmelada. But they're often style. eaten together. And it's always served Absolutely. together. Not always, but you could serve them together and that's called combinado. Leche que pones. No sé, es totalmente diferente con this. No me gusta. That's really good. The rice pudding is so creamy. And with that jelly, like the fruity floraliness of it, the, the two different textures. Each of them would be good on their own, but then together they're so complimentary, like they go so well together. Oh, no, it's for What a way to end a spectacular meal. National dance of Peru. Yes, and have different versions very, all around very the country. Very, very good job. That was amazing. That was amazing. Her footwork, her rhythm, the way she moved, also the the dress, spectacular. What a way to end. Very graceful. What a way to end this entire meal experience, Peruvian experience. Wow, walking out of the house just like has it been four hours of eating and hanging out as family four and a half hours i'm coming out like with a completely new education and view and perspective on peruvian food and the food i have to start off to say that uh maria zuniga and her family and everybody there they are the ones who made it so special so unbelievably memorable and spectacular beyond imagination she mentioned to me that nothing made her happier than seeing us enjoy the food and seeing us appreciate her cooking and that was from her heart it's not a restaurant so you can't just walk in and have lunch you need to pre-order reserve uh we got her number her email, so I will have it in the description box below. You can, uh, when you are in Lima, book a meal with her because it's not only a meal, it is a, an experience of education and love to Peruvian food. If you haven't already watched all the rest of the videos in this Peru series, all of the food we're traveling, uh, just in Lima and Cusco, but I'll have all the links, all the other videos, a full playlist. Go check out all the amazing Peruvian food we've been learning about and eating. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Lima. Muchas gracias to Maria Zuniga and the entire family and team for just taking care of us like family, for treating us like family in Lima.